I'm Kevin from Easy Generator Switch, and today we're going to discuss the difference between a bonded neutral generator and a floating neutral generator. Those are the two types of generators that are made in the United States and Canada. The difference is actually quite simple. The floating neutral generator has no continuity between the neutral on the plug on your generator itself and the frame. And the best way to test and figure this out is take a continuity tester with the unit off and go between the neutral, which is the 9 o'clock position on the plug, and the frame. If your continuity tester shows that you have continuity between the two, that's a bonded neutral generator. If you have nothing, then it's a floating neutral generator. Well, here's the issue. The National Electrical Code says that when you purchase and wire a transfer switch, which, by the way, your transfer switch that you're purchasing should be UL and CSA approved. CSA is for Canada. There are one or two companies out there that sell transfer switches that have no testing, no UL, no CSA, no nothing. And uh, there has never been any testing on any of the switches. Uh, the rigors that they put us through for these switches is just phenomenal. I mean, we have a serial number on every single one that we can go back and check and say when it was tested and when it was sold. So make sure you purchase a generator transfer switch that has a UL or CSL, CSA label. So getting back to your generators, if you have a floating one, you will have no continuity between your 9 o'clock and your, and your ground, uh, your frame on the generator. So the code says if that's the type of generator you have, you now need to bond that neutral one time only. And we do that through the switch. The neutral comes from your generator, comes to our neutral, which then gets connected to the neutral in the panel. And that's the exact opposite case when you have a bonded neutral generator. The neutral is already bonded to the frame of your generator and your continuity tester would show between 9 o'clock and the frame would show continuity. Well, again, the code said, okay, you've got a bonded neutral, don't bond it again. We don't want to bond it again. And there's a reason for that. It's called transients voltage, and they kind of run around in a circle, but we don't need to get into that. So what happens with that type of generator? We then make a switch that physically disconnects your neutral in your generator from the neutral in the panel and separates the two. Um, again, the best way to test is with a continuity tester. It, it's not a hard test. It's quick and easy. You'll know what you have and make sure you purchase the correct um, generator transfer switch and make sure it's got a UL or CSA label. Thank you.